Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today, I'm Volodya Sobohu. During this week, the attention of all Ukrainians, as well as many of Ukraine's foreign partners, was focused on the launch of e-declaration system, or rather, failure thereof. At midnight on August 15th, National Agency on Corruption Prevention launched the system of electronic income declarations, however, without a special data protection certificate. Absence of this certificate actually means that all the declarations that are now being submitted to the system do not have legal value. These declarations will not be accepted as proper evidence in court and it will be impossible to bring public officials to justice for submitting false information in their assets declarations or for illegal enrichment. The launch of e-declaration system is one of the key requirements for the country to get not only visa-free travel with the EU, but also the $3 billion tranche from the IMF. But first and foremost, it was yet another step to fight and prevent corruption. The idea was to make every public official choose either to declare all his assets and then go to jail for illicit enrichment or not to declare, declare false information, but then again face responsibility, criminal responsibility for, for uh, submitting false asset declaration. So let's take a closer look at all the participants of this process. On March 18th, the law on e-declarations, as adopted by the parliament, came into effect. The cabinet of ministers then passed and approved the technical requirements for the software development and asked United Nations Development Program to facilitate in finding the proper contractor. The TOR was developed very much in line with international standards and was approved by the Cabinet of Ministry and I have here the endorsement of, uh, of the Cabinet and it was also developed directly by the World Bank. Once the contractor has been selected on a tender process, it developed a software which is supposed to be installed on the website of the National Agency on Corruption Prevention where all public officials must enter their income declarations. But prior to the launch of the system, the software was supposed to be certified by the State Agency on Information Protection. This agency should have issued a data protection certificate. And here where things got tricky. In the very last moment, the State Agency for Information Protection refused issuing the certificate, claiming that there are some technical flaws of the supporting documentation, not the software itself. We now understand, until very recently, the issues related to the uh, security certification to guarantee data integrity and proper protection of personal data of the system users. We were not made aware of these issues earlier. Following back and forth haggling, finger pointing, the activists pushing and the entire world watching over the weekend, the chairperson of the National Agency for Corruption Prevention decided not to launch the system without the certificate. And then she did. The chairperson of NACP on Friday announces that the system cannot be launched without data protection certificate. Yet on Sunday, August 14th, she makes the decision to launch the system without this certificate. On August 15th, the system is launched and government officials start uploading their data into it. And the hassle around the launch of e-declaration system without the proper certificate began on Monday. The introduction of e-declarations is an additional tool in the corruption fight efforts of the Ukrainian government. But were these efforts genuine? From what we heard from the activists, the government tried to sabotage the reform with all its might. This is like a corruptionist counter-revolution right now in Ukraine, where uh, potential corruptionists uh, want to resist the system because they uh, should indicate their cash there are, for example, um, assets in the very, very transparent way. So that's why it's a key issue to fight corruption in Ukraine. Finally, on Thursday during the parliamentary hearing, which involved all the participants of this process, it was announced that the president of Ukraine, who was silent for three days, finally ordered to issue the certificate by August 31st. Looks like the parties will go back to fixing the problems if they existed at all, and hopefully launch the system in two weeks' time. We'll see what happens on the 1st of September.
It was a busy week in Ukraine. Let's see what the next week will bring us. I'm Volodymyr Sobolub. Thank you for watching Ukraine Today.